Welcome to Tuesday. It's the 22nd day of March 2022. Brought to you by exclusively Cowboy State Daily, Wyoming's news authority. Visit them at CowboyStateDaily.com and on their Facebook page. Well, as we go through this Tuesday, it is going to be windy. It's going to be chilly, developing snow flurries in some areas of the central and northern Rockies with a storm raging in the Midwest and southern plains. Cold northerly winds and some snow showers will be found in a few areas today, especially in the mountains. It's really just not going to feel like March out there. Air temperatures actually aren't going to be bad, but the north wind is going to be steady, gusty, and cold, and it will really be that way. The wind will be pretty stout into tomorrow as well. Now, there is a weak system that may affect Montana, parts of northern Wyoming, and western South Dakota with some snow showers, especially in the mountains Thursday night into Friday. We don't expect much out of that system. The weekend, folks, looks fabulous. I'm happy to report that we are looking at one of those weekends. We're looking at 60s and 70s. The weekend pattern that you can get lucky with this time of year where it all just works out, where you really get a bad case of spring, spring fever. But I'm going to book in that by say April's a cruel month. Expect it to be that way to start the month. Do not think that this weekend is a trend. It's just going to be a nice weekend that you sometimes get in early spring because April will likely start off colder and unsettled again. And we'll show you that. Today's satellite photo shows a very impressive storm system really taking shape over Oklahoma. We had severe weather, tornado activity in Oklahoma yesterday afternoon and evening. We're going to have a lot of severe weather down here today. On the back side of the system, it's rain and snow back here heading into the Midwest. This is a very large system. This is why we were so concerned about it a week ago. The counterclockwise spin around this low is going to drag cold Canadian air in from the north. In fact, this patch of blue here, these are low clouds coming in on the back side of a strong jet stream wind right here on the back side of the low. So this is going to bring in cold, moist air. This is what's going to produce the flurries on the plains, snow showers in the mountains, and keep our temperatures and conditions more winter-like, while the heavier precipitation is more directed towards the central part of the United States. And here you can see a very high risk of severe weather today across the south central United States. There will be tornadoes, severe thunderstorms today in that part of the world. And you can see thunderstorm activity getting all the way up into the Great Lakes. As this storm is going to really impact the central and eastern part of the United States here for the next 48 hours. The upper level charts show that strong northerly flow. Look at that. The northerly flow goes from Canada to Mexico. So there's a big latitude change in the air. Also notice it doesn't look like much, but there's a little ripple. A couple of ripples here coming into that northerly flow. These are called short waves embedded in the long wave weather pattern. And this is going to produce those snow showers and keep us in that chilly northerly flow. So it's not going to feel like spring today at all. This is what the precipitation looks like through the next couple of days here. That northerly flow producing those snow showers over the mountains and flurries on the plains right here while the heavy moisture heads into the Midwest. This is what the snowfall looks like. Not much on the back side of the storm. There's going to be some snow in Kansas into Nebraska, but we're just looking at an inch or two up in the high country and dusting on the plains. The wind, though, is certainly going to be a factor. These are the wind gusts over the next couple of days. And notice the green is mainly along and east of the divide. Got some wind here in the Four Corners area, but you can see it's going to be windy and chilly along and east of the divide in that northerly wind flow. And that's why it's just going to be blustery and cold. West of the divide, you will be protected by that wind somewhat. These are temperatures today by the noon hour relative to the 30-year normals. Pretty darn chilly out there. And if you look at the wind chill values, these are the wind chill values by noon today. So you've got wind chill values in the teens, in the 20s, in the 30s, all across the West. So bundle up. As we go and look at the weather pattern as that storm moves out, we have a little wave right here. This little guy right here will move across Montana and northern Wyoming and western South Dakota Thursday night and Friday, and it may produce a little bit of rain and snow shower activity up here. It's not going to be a lot, but there's going to be a little bit of that activity as it heads south and east. Out on the west coast, high pressure is building. And here we go. What this will do is build a nice big ridge of high pressure across the Intermountain West 
And what this will mean, this is for Saturday afternoon and the Sunday, just a beautiful pattern right here of happy, sunny, warm weather. This is what leads to temperatures like this. Look at these temperatures relative to average by Saturday afternoon with the colder air more associated with that trough in the east. So there's a big warm up coming. Yep, now I'm not talking about a cowbell, but I'm talking about spring fever. Definitely gonna be coming our way this upcoming weekend. So if you've got plans this weekend, boy, plan to be outdoors. It's gonna be one of those weekends to take advantage of. Look at the high temperatures forecasted for this weekend. These are Saturday's forecasted high temperatures in the west. So find your location, find the closest number to you, and you can see a lot of 60s and 70s on the plains. Look at those temperatures in Arizona, really starting to heat up there in the desert southwest. That's Saturday. This is Sunday. Temperatures getting even warmer. Look at the lower 80s here, punching in the southwest Kansas and the Oklahoma and Texas panhandle areas. Look at these temperatures in Boise, eastern Oregon, and across Idaho, and across the high regions of the west. A big warm up. Does that mean winter's over, snow's over? No, absolutely not, because April is a cruel month. By Monday morning, we're going to have some type of low. I don't know if it's going to be this strong or this intense, but we will have West Coast rain returning by Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday, heading into the Rockies. By Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday, that low moves across Colorado. Not sure if it's going to look like this, but there will be some type of system coming through by late Monday night in the Tuesday of next week. This is followed by a more organized storm developing into the Great Basin right on April 1st. No fooling. Look at this low here in the Great Lakes, another low back here. This is why once we get into the last couple of days of March and into early April, stormy weather is going to return to the western United States. So take advantage of the weekend. For those of you who have not had a chance to check out our kids journal. We are giving some away, so email us and send in your entry. All entries must be in by April 1st, and we're going to give away some Dayweather kids books. Have yourself a great Tuesday. We'll talk to you tomorrow.